Hi, this is Sam Westcott from Children's Hospital Los Angeles, and I'm going to really quickly walk you through how to interpret an NIH award number. So you get that Notice of Grant Award and you don't know what it means. Well, let's talk about it. Let's say this is what the number is. Really quickly, this is the type, where it is in the cycle. So this number is going to change over the life of the award because it's going to be at a time when things are new or renewal or non-competing continuation. This refers to the award and that's where you're going to talk about if it's an R, it's research, if it's a K, it's career, I almost spelled career with a K. If it's a P, we can talk about it being a program project or a center. T, training. F, fellowship. So this is important because it's important to know what the purpose is of the award and which kind of award it is. Then here, you have your institute. Because it is the National Institutes of Health, each institute has its own code. CA is cancer, and DK is di uh, digestive disorders and kidney diseases. There's a whole range of them. But that's going to tell you where it's being funded. And here is your serial number. And this is the number that just gets assigned to the pro project. After that, this is the year. This would show you if it was a revision on the application, or resubmission, excuse me. And then sometimes, if there's been a mistake or a change, you'll also see something that says it's revised. What's really important to keep in mind is that what you always need to know over the life of the award is this. Occasionally this might change if an institute gets changed or perhaps it gets turned into an R37, which is a merit award. But for the most part, if you have this information when you're calling the NIH or when you're dealing with the information, if your PI uses this information or if you use this information, this is going to be the key that's going to stay at the center of the entire life of the award. Thank you.